Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Batman Full Moon. This is a new DC Black Label series book. Uh, let's talk about the creative team before we get fully into this book. This book is written by Rodney Barnes with art by art by Stefan Subic, who also worked on uh, The Riddler Year One with Paul Dano. Uh, this is also lettered by Russ Wooten. And we'll see some variant covers at the end of the video. Stay tuned for that. Uh, you'll get to see the cover that I picked up. And this is the foil cover with the faces of the moon. Uh, and just who would not want to read a book about Batman and a werewolf? I mean, that's all I got to say. But uh, in this book, an ancient and supernatural force stalked the streets of Gotham City, a lichen so powerful it'll defy Batman's most trusted resources. His brilliant mind and extensive gadgetry. But are Batman's physical strength and resilience alone to put the creature down for good? Or will this fight strip him down to his very bones? Even powerful magic allies like Satana, Caution Bruce, might not walk away from this one unscathed. Uh, Eisner-nominated writer Rodney Barnes, who's worked on things like Philadelphia and breakout artist Stevan Subic, uh, as I mentioned from Riddler Year One, tear into a horrific tale of pain and redemption as a Batman means his match, the werewolf of Gotham City. Each issue of the series will boast striking glow-in-the-dark main covers. I was not able to find that main uh, glow-in-the-dark cover. I was only able to find this really cool foil cover. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to tell, but you'll see it at the end of the video. Uh, but I'm definitely going to find I'm I'm going for it. I can see why, uh, you know, I can see how this would be a really cool design that would show and glow, glow, you know, glow-in-the-dark. And you guys know I'm a sucker for a gimmick. Uh, but let's talk about this book. Uh, it's fantastic. Rodney Barnes is an amazing writer. Uh, and Steven Subic is an amazing artist. And combining them together just really works. Immediately you get that uh, creepy, grimy tone. Uh, there's a lot of violence in this book, which is why it's, pro it's probably one of the reasons it's a Black Label book. Uh, and not just an World story. Um, there's... I will say Subic's art is definitely very specific. Some people may not, uh, you know, like there's not a lot of details in the faces. It's a little left more to the imagination. Some things are a little bit more left loose with, with not so much details, uh, just kind of using the shadows and these heavy inks to kind of outline. Uh, but when it comes right, right down to the action, Subic just really excels. And I think that he is taking everything that came from the, the Riddler Year One, and just kind of playing around with this new genre of a story, right? Uh, Riddler Year One was more of a crime thriller, whereas this is really more leaning into a horror. Uh, but still, the thriller aspect of it really kind of balances the forces here. Uh, it's really, really cool to see on the page. Uh, let me pull up some of the preview pages here. As you can see here, walking down this uh, alley, and you start to see the changes of this man, right? It's slowly this person turning into a, light, a werewolf, a lichen, you know, somebody who looks like a normal outline of a person. But this is what I'm talking about with very little detail, right? The people around him, you can kind of tell their lab, they're, they're either on the lab or a scientist just based on the context, but there's no real specificity, right? And then, of course, as he turns, uh, just love how, the arm gets bigger and hairier and a lot more grotesque. And then the scientists kind of poking and prodding. Uh, the heart rate in the background, just everything really elevates the tension until the until the restraints come off. And like I said, this book is really, really violent. And you also get to see a little bit of introduction to this world's Batman. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Subic has a very specific uh, art art. Uh, character model design but i think it really works for this type of story uh and like i mentioned rodney barnes has just a mastery of like how to make this thrilling how to raise the tension uh it all really works very well and i can't wait to see where this goes because this first issue it's a little oversized right it's a little bit more than a normal book more than the 22 pages uh so you definitely get a lot of story there uh and i just can't wait to see where we go from here you get introduced to some really fun characters that are a little bit more on the supernatural or, or at least on the road to the supernatural. I won't give any spoilers away, but I think fans of uh, things, 
fans of some of the characters that would make sense in a story like this uh, will be definitely very happy about this. So, if you have read Batman and Full Moon, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Let me know which cover then you're picking up. I know I wish I could show it a little better. It's just like all the light from the computer really catches up on the foil there. But uh, as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.